Hello, welcome everybody. That's right, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jeff May and I am super, super excited to welcome paper engineer, Matthew Reinhardt. Matthew, how are you? I'm, I'm doing well. Yeah, I am so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, what a unique title that you have. We have so many questions, uh, and I am sure that you are very, very busy, so I'd like to get started, and I want to immediately bring up how I introduced you. Uh, what exactly is a paper engineer? Well, a paper engineer, my kind of paper engineer, is someone who designs pop-ups. I mean, they're, you know, you cut and fold paper, and you figure out how these mechanisms work. Okay, so it's, there's an, art. you're an artist. It's, I guess, it's funny yeah, yeah, it's, that's what I think. Well, when I, I hear, mean, you know, paper engineer sounds very really, really technical. It does. And I don't connect with that term as much as, you know, you're, you're a paper sculptor, you know, you're making these things and you're making it move. So, you, you, yeah, it's both of those things. It's, it's not only is it a, are you just, it's not a, a, just a sculpture too, it's, it's a process. And it's moving thing. and, you know, there's all this mechanics going on. Um, a lot of times people ask me if I like know anything about math or whatever, you know, basics, but it's not something I even think about. No, it's just you jump kind of uh, right to it, I guess, the art aspect of it. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a question that I did want to know because uh, how, how, how does one become a paper engineer? It is, well, it's weird. I mean, I'm, I kind of prepared for it like early in life. You know, I was one of those kids who was always cutting and folding paper and like figuring out if I wanted to make something like maybe, well, I'm a big Star Wars fan. So yeah. I was always making like bases for my, and, and vehicles and creatures for my Star Wars figure collection and building out that world. So I just kind of, you know, that was just something, that's how I, so I, you, I express myself. You prepared out of necessity. Yeah. You needed, you needed to get those tauntauns across the, tontons, the northern plains. I needed plains. advances, yeah. I needed cities, you know, all that sort of stuff wow. to put my toys. But then like later on, I actually was a toy design major uh, in graduate school. Yeah. And I'm kind of a failed toy design major because what, what happened was I ended up getting into pop-ups and just helping somebody and it just clicked. I don't think that's what failing means. I think if you <laughs> do a lateral shift into something that you're amazingly talented at, that that's not a failure at the yeah, other thing. I guess, that's just I guess. that's just taking the road that works for you. Yeah, because uh, yeah, you actually you you just kind of answered one of my questions, which mm. was how you want to pursue how you would start sort of pursuing a career in art, and I'm, I, you kind of Im implied the toy design. Yeah, thing. well, I I was always interested in toy design, but um, you know, I was always illustrating as well, and and that's what kind of led me into it. Um, and and I just had a talent for it, and once I did one book that you know, I was following along with somebody else, uh, I, it just kept coming. We, we have a couple of things um, that you brought here, ones that, that are sort of up the realm. You did the Game of Thrones yes. uh, pop-up book, uh, which was very popular, and then a follow-up, uh, uh, very different, was the Disney Princesses I love me some Disney Princesses. Uh, book, uh, and who doesn't? Um, <laughs> and then uh, you have a piece that I'm super excited that I get to bring back. Yeah. Because we did a segment on this piece, and I actually got to be the person to talk about it and introduce it, and that is the Harry Potter, uh, the pop-up guide to Hogwarts. I'm a total uh, Potterhead. This is, uh, it's so great. Uh, yeah. It was so much fun uh, bringing it out uh, and getting to play with it before was a lot of fun, so I was really excited that I got to meet you for that. But then on top of this thing that I've already seen and already gotten to play with uh, here, you have brought to me Right, we have your newest book. Uh, it is a Star Wars book right here. It's called Star Wars, The Ultimate Pop-Up Galaxy right here. Beautiful wraparound art, absolutely mm -hmm. stunning. Now, I need you to tell us uh, what inspired the book, I mean, other than your complete and total love and devotion to Star Wars, and then what elements are you gonna, what did you focus on when you were sort of creating this piece? Well, okay, so this is really inspired by a lot of the play that I have, you know, did when I was a kid. Um, you know, like being able to like recreate those Star Wars scenes and, and build it out and play within like this intricate sort of space. I wanna, may I? Wanna open, yeah, please, open, of course, that's how you experience this. it. Uh, so we have, Okay, so this is the Battle of Geonosis, right? And so we wanted to make, we wanted to kind of take the readers through the entire Star Wars saga. And so every movie is in here, including the new Rise of Skywalker. And there are all these little discoverable 
uh, pops within the main pop. So there's there's all these things, you know, there's like 3D, you can look at the artwork mm, there's, from every way around. And then, you know, then there's, a, there's of course, the intense, side pops. So we have the, the uh, yeah. There's oh, cool. the car shot. Um, over here is the Battle of Naboo, and they're actually little pull tabs that you can you can make ah. the action happen. So you know, there's Jar Jar, and there's lots of droids blowing up. Okay, maybe engineer. We'll I get it. <laughs> this kind of stuff it, it boggles my mind. Uh, well, sometimes it, it, it boggles it, mine too. I don't know how it gets done. It, to be it's, honest, it, it's amazing. We have uh, the Battle oh, of Yavin. Yeah, uh, and here's the Death yeah. Star, and you can actually. Blow up uh, Alderaan yourself. Oh. So a lot of times when I'm building this stuff, like I'm making all the sound effects, pew pew pew, and you know there's extra uh, escape to Yav. And yeah, and there's some. This is great. I want to I want to lean spaceships. this forward here because um, you have uh, a dogfight happening here. Oh yeah. Uh, complete with Y wings and X wings and an X wing exploding. There's a little Tie fighter going to pieces down there's there. Here's the here's Chalman's Cantina right here, and if you look inside. You can you can check out Luke and Obi Wan. Um, there's is that even, Garindin uh, outside there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is. Yep. And we the woo her on the other side. Like he's literally, inside. literally, he's it's a it's a uh, 3D part of it. You have uh, woo her in there, and is that Cabe? I can't really see. Yeah, that's Cabe, that and right then Muff Tech's in there somewhere as well. I. Uh, They're all uh, inside. Trust I'm me. obsessed. No, uh, I am, that's I, one of my favorite scenes in Star Wars. I think it, it captured a lot of the imagination. Uh, we have the battle for Endor. Okay, here. so this is really cool because again, there's more like pull tabs that can move and make action so the, happen, um, and you're gonna see some. There's some. There's a. There's you know like art everywhere. Yes. And no. It's it is in the back. It, it's, it's nighttime it's, on Endor. There's uh, just it's like it's everywhere. This is uh, it was really hard to create, but it's like for Star Wars, it's worth it. Yeah, so we have uh, Jakku here. And this here. is the um, Graveyard of the Giants. Yeah. If you pull this tab right here, this is pretty cool. Uh, can I reach it? Uh, there's Millennium Falcon goes in, and it comes out the other side ah. of the pop. Check that out, man. Oh, come on. Oh, man, this is so uh, fun. Here's Takodana right here. This is uh, Maz's t uh, castle. So like you can look inside the pops. There are little windows to look inside. So it's just kind of out of control. Um, I have a problem. And then this last pop is a, uh, they actually, these huge walkers actually ah, ha, ha. and walk. These are all so much fun. Uh, now also, and something I was told is there's a uh, insane map. Yeah, so the, the oh. book, well, we like to make books that it's like beyond the book. It's, uh, we kind of think outside the book and okay. make it something bigger. So this is also like sort of display as sort of a giant map. So it has a map mode. Really? There's book mode. Can we see map mode, please? Sure, should we open it all up right yeah, now? Well, yeah, well, yeah. Let's mean, do it. We have the space. I'm, I'm inviting right. you to do all it. All right. Carefully, you got that, uh, you got the mic behind Ooh, you, so yeah, we don't want. My head. And it's pretty so. easy, too. I mean, it's all laid out. Whoa. And there are instructions with the book, so you can kind of. There are. Them. I have instructions. I have instructions right here um, with the book that tells you how to unfold the book. I have a feeling you know how to do that. Yes. And I think there are videos actually online as well. Of course there are. Because of course. This now thing let's is. See, it so does get big. Wait, here we go. Let's angle it. Let's go that way. Oh my god. And then once we get I don't even know the, if we can even fit this in the whole screen, but And then then you can open up the smaller ah, pops. Battle of Hoth. I'm telling you, we didn't forget anything. And, and it links together. It all kind of links together and you get this huge sort of ooh, oh, come over here. This thing is Amazing. So you can I, display it, you can read it as a book, you can do whatever you want. Now there's something uh, really fascinating that uh, the the people uh, that are watching don't know, which is that uh, everybody in studio right now is just mouth agape <laughs> watching this happen. I mean, this is unbelievable. Like, this is a massive, this is a massive undertaking right here. How long did it take for you from start to finish to get this done? Uh, it took about six months, but I mean, you know, there's a lot of back and forth when you're working with Lucasfilm and six, Disney and everything like that. That's but, it? <laughs> it's so bad. You know, but then there's production. You gotta make sure everything works right. You know, these are all handmade. So it really goes from my hands to the hand assemblers, who, and we're working back and forth with each other. To put, uh, to put, uh, there we to go. To put a scale, to scale. There we go. Uh, this is, and I'll put them off to the side, so it was, <laughs> I'll put them right here so you can see them. 
Uh, this is a six scale uh, Luke Skywalker here. Uh, so he's about a foot tall. Yeah. Uh, which means that's about, we're going up a foot tall and then width of it is, I mean, how do I measure it in Skywalkers there here? We go, but we're there looking we go. It's uh, over, over, tall. over three Skywalkers <laughs> tall. And, uh, and, and and as high as an elephant's eye. There uh, we are. So that table's about four feet long. So it's about a four foot long table that we're looking yeah. at here. It's and it's not even all completely opened up. So yeah. every one of the small pops can open up and you can display them all open. Um, so I've seen some people even like pin them up on the wall. So you got this gigantic sort of display of the whole you know, Skywalker saga. This is, it's fascinating. Now, okay, so me and you, Growing up in the same era, we grew up with pop-up books that were generally designed for young children. Mm -hmm. They were like, oh, look, here's I had my Star Wars pop-up books. And, oh, the Falcon leaves the space slug. You yeah, know, the yeah I had system. that one. Or, yep, I, I remember it. Um, and that was just you give it to the kid and the kid reads it. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this probably is designed best for families yeah, to well, sort of go through this together. I mean, this... If I was seven years old and I and I was given this, I probably would I uh, would I would accidentally tear it immediately. Yeah. I'm a, I was a mess. I was a yeah. big, I was a sloppy, yeah, sloppy child. Yeah, it depends. Child. It depends. Like, yeah, uh, it, it is like a family thing. You know, if you look at these some of these more complex ones that I do. Um, it's it's about reading the book together and enjoying it as a family. And you know, if if it's you know, there are some kids that really respect you know that these are complicated and they're really careful with them. But you know, if you got really young kids. Let's read it together. Let's sit yeah. down and enjoy Star Wars together. And then um, people our age that now have families and they can sort of relive the pop-up book experience, mm -hmm. but in such a more massive scale. Uh, I am super into that. Uh, yeah. I, I'm super Thanks. stoked on that. Um, now, one of the uh, things that I'm noticing here is that you are a huge, massive Star Wars fan. Mm -hmm. uh, and this, this is like a... This is it. This is a masterpiece. You've done the thing. So, are there any properties that you would like to um, touch upon? Any properties that you have not done yet uh, that you're just itching to, or you really want to? Yeah, yeah. I really want to do classic style comic Marvel. You know, Marvel comic characters like superheroes. Really? Um, okay. That would be amazing. Like classic style. Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. Spider Man. You know, Hulk, Thor, X Men. Like all of them. Like a giant like pop up encyclopedia of Marvel, it, but in the in the classic like uh, Kirby or yes. or, or uh, I mean, wouldn't know, that like be a, amazing? Your, like a a Ditko Doctor Strange mm -hmm. style or anything like that would be fascinating. I feel like you probably have an in. Maybe. I feel like mm -hmm. I feel like Marvel's Never owners know. might uh, be happy <laughs> with your work. Uh, this is great. I mean, I mean, you know, you've done the thing that you've probably always wanted to do, uh, and now. You get to explore more, hopefully. Yeah, I'm it's really great. excited uh, for that. Uh, so I'm, I, I'm hoping, beyond hope, that I get you back here for a, a Marvel one, maybe or something. You never Who know. knows? You, you never know. Um, how do you, Matthew? How do you let your geek side show? Aside from making massive pop-up yes. books of the, your fandoms. Well, so okay, I'm a big toy collector, and um, now, but I'm only allowed to collect. Star Wars figures and Transformers. And with my Star Wars figure collection, like I've collected everything since 1978. So I have a full carded, well, almost full carded uh, vintage Star Wars figure collection. Really? I don't have Yak Face, you know. Okay. It's a hard one to get on card. But um, yeah, they're actually under my bed because <laughs> I don't have a good display space for them yet. But yeah, the, really? the, it's- So you have like the whole- The whole, the whole of vintage that is. And then I have every other figure that's three and three quarter inch since so really? um that 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 I, is that's too much that's a not <laughs> it's a I lot mean, it's like oh it's like it's over not two thousand sure different figures um but it's great i mean you i must have I a very it. tall bed <laughs> <laughs> well that's just the vintage stuff but yeah. the the other stuff i have in storage and you know displayed in different places i would be i would be 100 percent obsessed with just the collection alone i mean that's yeah fascinating. yeah uh, it's, I am, it's something. I am so stoked that you got here, and 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 th I'm like I'm in awe. So thank you for joining us, Matthew. Uh, it has thank been you. an absolute pleasure. Um, now, if you would like to stay up to date on Matthew's work, make sure to check out all of his social media. It'll be right here below. Uh, now, this book is obviously an absolutely gorgeous work of art. The detail is incredible, and it really brings these universes to life. 
If you would like to pick up this item or some of Matthew's other work, head to side.show slash pop-up Star Wars for the Star Wars one, as well as side.show slash pop-up Harry Potter uh, for the Hogwarts guide. Uh, Matthew, thank you so much for coming. Thanks I for really, having me. really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show. Hey, did you like that video? Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.